Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jen and Christian's with me and welcome to day 9 of our 12 days of Christmas and we have that, that I mean I think this is one everybody watches every year around this time of year, that holly jolly Christmas classic by David Cronenberg, Rabbit. On the ninth day of Christmas my true love sent to me nine rabbit weasels. And a partridge in a pear tree. Why so, are we reviewing this? So 1977's Rabbit, because it's a Christmas movie and it's our 12 days of Christmas. Okay, for those of you who don't know, <laughs> technically this movie is set during Christmas. We see a mall Santa during one scene. It's glorious. They 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 they, they machine gun down Santa. It's, yeah. So it counts. Also, it fucking we, counts. Also, we love the fuck out of this movie and we felt like it. Although, admittedly, we forgot how... um poor of a choice this film probably was for this year because we or broke, it could be a genius we choice. broke our rule again that we said at the beginning of the year of no disease movies this is a disease zombie film kind of rabid film but yeah um, so we'll ignore all that for now and pretend we're in a different year. No, uh, this one, or this could be an actual perfect one because just of the given times we're in. Uh, yeah, th th there's a lot of parallels. There's even one where a guy says, I'd rather take my chances with the virus than getting the shots. Of course, you're getting vaccination shots for rabies, whereas, you know, what we're in now is... But you know I've heard people say it, so there's that. So yeah, yeah, so enough of enough of fun time talking. So rabid. Yeah, rabid. So this is from 1977, and it and another reason why this is a great Christmas movie is it has a porn star. It has Marilyn Chambers. I really like Marilyn Chambers. She sh sadly it's the late great Marilyn Chambers. She died in 2009, but um, she also is in one of my favorite porns, Behind the Green Door. I, 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 Which we just it's, keep bringing up this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, it's it's that. So it, I think it's always cool when you have a Christmas movie and your lead actress is a porn star. I can appreciate that. Um, the movie itself, David Cronenberg. This was this was one of his. This was early. his second film after yeah. Shivers. Yeah, and uh, you like Shivers better. No, I do like Rabbit more. Oh, okay. Rabbit's in my top three or four Cronenberg films. It's not a video drama or a crash or a naked lunch, but I do really like Rabbit. Yeah, I really like Rabbit too. I never can, I, I, I go back and forth. I think I like Shivers maybe a touch more, but then I see Rabbit, it goes back and forth. They're very similar films in Yeah, they're bo both of them are there are movies that are show a lot of promise and talent, but are held back by their lackluster budget and just amateurish begin beginner style, but it still shows a lot of talent that David There's Cronenberg a lot of would go on to perfect with his 80s output. There's a lot of promise here. He, he was a little green behind the ears, but you, you can still see a lot of talent. Um, this movie, of course, will give you Night of the Living Dead vibes, but in the best way possible. Um, the gore is really good. Um, it's just a fun a zombie movie. They call it rabies, but it's just a fun zombie movie set around Christmas. And there's, a, there's one scene where, spoilers, this is 1977, so I don't feel too bad spoiling this part, but one of my favorite scenes is when we discover there's a dead baby because you need a dead baby in your Christmas you film. I really like that. I like how dark, especially for the time that this movie gets pretty fucking dark, mm. but it's David Cronenberg, but we don't know that. If we're looking at 1977's eyes, we don't know it's David Cronenberg yet, but yeah, I like how weirdly dark this gets, and I like I also feel the ending, it's kind of like, maybe this wasn't what he was going for, but I kind of get the met metaphor that you know, no matter what, you're just going to end up in the back of a garbage compactor. <laughs> That's how you, you live you die and then you get thrown in the back of the garbage truck. <laughs> Another good message for Christmas. Ba -la 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 -la. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Also, much like pretty much all of David Cronenberg's movies, I'm not the force nor will I be the last to make this parallel. You get a lot of AIDS epidemic yeah. uh, feel with, with this movie as you do with most of his films, but mm -hmm. this one probably this one or the fly are probably the most obvious about it what about shivers shivers also okay yeah this the fly and shivers are probably the three most like obvious of his you know influence of the aids epidemic at the time yeah and that was actually kind of brave because yeah he's veiling him but it's pretty thinly veiled and that was pretty uh, remarkable for the time to you know granted he was kind of a renegade filmmaker but still it was pretty ballsy mm. to, it was a ballsy subject to touch when most people wouldn't um the movie itself is is good um it is a little there i kind of do 
think it's a little there, it does have a little bit of a lag issue there are some parts that kind of drag a little there's, bit it's not even that there's the scenes that drag it's there's a couple of shots of the movie that linger on way too fucking long or unnecessary shots like there's a couple shots when we're establishing when Marilyn Chambers is you know waking up and shit's going down we keep cu uh, cutting back to her husband fiance boyfriend, boyfriend driving to her in the car and they, it, nothing happens in those scenes it's literally just the two actors driving silently while drinking coffee we cut to that like three separate times for like five seconds which isn't a big thing but it adds up but but you know but I can't but if you complain about that you also gotta complain about the long shots of especially when she's coming out of her coma and she's got her breast out there is a lot of gratuitous nudity which is when glorious you, when you have Marilyn Chambers in your movie you're gonna use those tits to the max exactly Exactly, and I feel you need Christmas tits. I mean, you do. You need Christmas tits in your movie. I think so with every movie we've reviewed this <laughs> month, and, have it, uh, the, uh, and somehow having a tits be re very relevant. I don't know, but I mean, it, it's awesome. Th this movie is is one that if you have kind of a darker, if you if you don't want to go with your traditional Christmas movies, because technically you go back, people. There, they mauled, they machine gunned down Santa in a fucking mall. It's glorious, and there's some scenes where there's just snow, and snow makes everything. I mean, it's. A Christmas I mean, movie, it is I mean, it is Canada, sweetie. <laughs> well, still, but it's awesome. Um, but th there's not too much of a plot, but then I guess you can say the same thing with Night of the Living Dead. I mean, it's a pretty basic plot, it's but it makes it work. It's mostly a character study just following Marilyn Chambers and how this fucking, uh, and how her actions have repercussions all across the country. And it's kind of sad how, like, she's really an innocent victim. Like, she doesn't want, you know, there's a couple people she does not want to kill. It doesn't want to be them, but she's hungry. She must feed what would you do and again I think that's a very telling scene at the end where she's just they just pick her up and throw her in the back of a garbage uh, truck because that's kind of what happens mm -hmm. kids mm -hmm. you live you die so you might as well enjoy infecting as many people as you can this is a bad year to say that That was probably <laughs> some of the worst word choices I think you've ever said on this channel don't do that no, don't do that I forgot we're in we're still in this year god damn it oh, god damn. <laughs> Yeah. Dang frag, dang nab, damn it. <laughs> it's getting to me. Christmas is getting to me. Um, but yeah, this is definitely one to definitely throw this Yule Yule. This is one to throw. This is a Christmas. This is, god damn it. Cut. Okay. This is a movie you definitely, this is a Yule, Yule Log movie you want to throw on your Christmas time fire. This is just what that is. It's a fun, if you want to go for So you want to burn the movie? No, I don't want, that was just trying to be funny. I was being I know. Um, no, the, 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 this is one you want to throw on the, f your, your, you, this is a Yule Log this is a Yule log that you want to throw on the fire, and it, you know it, it's fun. If you want to go in a different direction than what you normally would, this is a different direction that still technically cl classifies as in the Christmas. loosest sense of the word. They were they machine they machine gun down. We're Santa. cheating pretty hardcore <laughs> with this one, but it, we up front we we we've been wanting to talk about rabbit for a long time. We were going to do it when the remake came out last year, but life happened, so yeah, life we're doing it now. Yeah, it's and, technically. A Christmas movie in the loosest sense of the it's word. It's fucking Christmas. Fight me. I'm gonna fight you. It's fucking Christmas. Is this Christmas. your Die Hard? Yes. Yes. This is my horror Die Hard. God damn it. This is a Christmas movie. Um, we. If you have a Santa that gets machine gunned down, it is for fucking Christmas movie. I swear it is. Not to mention, not only that, but you have a porn actress in your Christmas movie. Yay! Go, Marilyn Chambers. Go. You rock them tits out. You go, girl. <laughs> I'm very tired. I can tell. <laughs> I'm on new medication, uh, people. So yeah. The holidays are <laughs> to us. Yeah. I painted oh. my lithium like I left some white, but I painted it red too, so it looks like a candy cane when I'm taking this. That's nice. <laughs> So yeah, so oh, okay. <laughs> well, do you have any major thoughts? Like I said, there's there the, you, there are some definite problems you can point out with this film. It is not a perfect film, but there's so much ta just raw talent that you can see, and you can definitely tell the master that Cronenberg would become later on in his career. It is a great, as much as I, it, it it fixes a lot of the problems that Shiver had because Shiver has major <laughs> pacing issues at certain Sometimes. points. That movie has some major pacing issues. This film fixes it, and then. I think the brood expands on what this film would do. He 
just and then vi- better. And then Videodrome is his masterpiece. <laughs> Fight me. Um, you know, so yeah. But no. the brood. The brood is really good. I, I, I think I like Rabbit just a bit more, but the brood is also really fucking good. Also, Scanners. What we're saying is we really like David Cronenberg here. He's our man. He gave us a porn actress and machine, and machine gun down Santa in a Christmas movie. And, God bless us, everyone. <laughs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> so I'd give this a, a positive. It is not a perfect film, but damn it, I love this movie. I, I agree with Christian. I would give the uh, I'd give this a solid B plus. And if you want to be a renegade in all your Christmas circles, while I, all those other fucks are watching, like you know, a Christmas story or something, you'll be sitting there looking at Marilyn Chambers rocking tits and watching Santa get machine machine gun down at a mall, plus just zombie rabid um uh fucking rabid people that are like foaming at the mouth with green foam. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Yeah.